Hello internet people, in this video we will go through how to set up WordPress on AWS for free. AWS offers a free tier which lasts one year where you can use a certain type of a server, EC2 instance, to host your WordPress website. And in my personal opinion, this type of hosting is much faster than using any other host provider which offers the same service at a premium, at a cost of mostly 5 to $20. If you're using a service like Bluehost or Hostgator uh, for a few bucks per month and you're using a shared instance, the performance will most likely be much worse than using your own server on AWS. And the complexity of configuring this on AWS is pretty simple, so I would recommend you, even if you're starting out, using AWS instead of uh, some other, instead of uh, one of those gazillion WordPress providers out there. So now you're in your console, go to services and go to EC2. Now we are going to launch a new instance. So you can click on the launch new instance button. There are multiple options you can choose from. Uh, we are going to go to the AWS marketplace. Since we are installing WordPress, just type in WordPress. And the first result should be WordPress certified by Bitnami. So this is the one we are going to go with. You can just select it. Um, this, this will show you the pricing. It is completely free. You will just uh, pay for your EC2 instance if you don't have your uh, free trial. But if you choose the T2 Micro, it should be all free. And the software is anyways free, so you shouldn't pay for anything. Just click continue. Now, uh, choose the T2 Micro, which is free tier eligible. And you can go to the next configure instance details. So for the instance details, you can pretty much leave everything as it is. You can leave your network VPC as the default one. Uh, the subnet you can also leave default. If you have configured any other subnets or VPCs, of course, you can choose those. But in most cases, you can just leave this per default. Now we can go to next add storage. If you want to increase your storage, you can type in another amount, but 10 gigabytes should be more than enough for a simple WordPress website. So you can add tags. With tags, you are able to search in your AWS console for certain parts of your infrastructure. So we are going to type in WordPress, Vietnami, but this, app, uh, this step is completely optional, so you can skip this. Now you can go to next configure. Um, we will configure as of now HTTP and HTTPS and later we can uh, switch this to redirect HTTP to HTTPS but leave those you can leave those three as they are. SSH it is unsecured to leave SSH available to the entire world so you should uh, narrow this down to ideally your specific IP address from which you are accessing your server or your team depending on your situation, but for this purpose, I will just leave this open to the entire world. So now we can go to review and launch. You can review all your information again and then click launch. When you click launch, um, you can either choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. You will need to, you will need this key pair to later SSH into your instance and you, um, you have to make sure not to lose this key pair. Um, because if you lose it, you won't be able to access the instance again. So let's go with the demo key pair. Then you can just click download key pair and click launch instance. This should now configure all settings and launch your instance. It can take up to a minute to be completely available on the web. After the instance is launched, we need to SSH into the instance. I'm using Windows here, so I'll be using PuTTY to SSH into the instance. If you're using macOS or Ubuntu, you can just use your terminal for this. So first we need to open PuTTY gen to generate uh, the correct format of the key pair we need for PuTTY. So um, let's load our key pair we just downloaded. It can only find PPK files, so we need to change this to all files. 
click on the demo key pair and then save private key. We need to give it the name, let's call it just demo and the key pair should be saved. Now we can SSH into our instance, just open putty, specify the port 22 and for our username since we are using a Bitnami WordPress website, we use Bitnami. At the IP address of our instance, we need to go again to the AWS console, navigate to EC2, go to your running instances, and choose the instance we have just launched. This is our instance, and this is the public IP address. Just copy the address, return to Putty, and paste it. Now, Go to SSH, under Auth, click Browse. Here we can see our newly generated key pair and click Open. Now we can just click Open and we should be connected into the SSH instance. Now, since we are in the instance, we can configure settings like HTTP, HTTPS, redirection, we can install our SSL certificate. But the first step we need to do in order to log into our admin console is to see what our credentials are actually. So just paste in the following command, sudo cat and the location of our Bitnami credentials. Press enter. And here you should see your default username and password. The default username and password is user and this password. Just copy the password. Uh, now it's time to, uh, go to, your, to go to our WordPress location. Copy again the public IP address. We still haven't configured a domain, so we can access it over our IP address. Just type in the IP address and you should see your default Bitnami WordPress page. Now, if you type in slash admin, we should go, we sh you should see the admin page. The user is user. And the password is this, just copy this and paste it. Now we should be able to log in into your admin panel and you should be able to configure your WordPress website from here. So the basic configuration is done here. From now on, uh, you should be able to upload a custom WordPress theme and configure your website. Now, there are still things missing. Uh, we are not using a domain name and uh, it is not secure. The website is currently HTTP. In the next video, I will go through how to set up HTTPS with a free, free SSL certificate and how to also create a custom domain name for your website. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you like those types of videos, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see something else or you have a certain problem or recommendation, just leave a comment down below and I will go through all the comments and respond personally to, to your comments.